Well, hello everybody, and today I just want to continue with a little bit of uh, Q and A. Um, some people are wondering about um, the toilet cassette and the chemicals and so on. So we've had a few questions coming in from different um, ways uh, that people communicate with us about what we do about the toilet cassette and so on um, while we're traveling full time. Now, I have mentioned before that we now have two toilet cassettes. So if we ever get stuck where we can't empty, we just swap those over and get to a point where we can empty both cassettes at the same time. But I really want to focus on the chemical uh, that we use in the toilet cassette. Now, for those of you that are new to uh, caravanning and motorhoming, you'll probably have heard about the Thetford cassette toilet system. Now this is a standard uh, toilet uh, bowl that you use in the normal way. It doesn't contain water but it does have a lever where you can open the aperture that everything drops through so all your all your waste goes through there into a storage container that is called the toilet cassette. Now what you have to do with those when you're emptying you need to prime the cassette with uh, a, a measure of water so uh, I usually I don't measure it out exactly I'm usually at the rinsing point and filling it up with water so a standard sort of level tap uh, um, turn on with uh, <laughs> with the water coming out I count to about five or five or ten, um, usually about seven, uh, normal counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's usually enough water, by the time I've put the hose in, let the water go in, count to seven, taken the hose out, switch the tap off, there's usually about just enough water in there for the priming amount. Then, put all the lid back on, once, it, once it's emptied, I sort of rinse it out and then put the little bit of water in, take it back to the motorhome and then I get the chemical and this is something that many people actually I was surprised to learn that many people don't know this but the the lid that comes off of the emptying spout you turn it up it's got a bit inside that bit inside is your measuring cup for the amount of chemical that you put back in to the cassette so there's a top tip for you. You can measure out your, you know, because when I first started, I was using chemical. I didn't know that that was a measuring cup. So I was just sort of pouring a bit in. I pour, well, that'd be enough. Yeah, that's about right. Um, so I was really guessing. And, I, and when I first started, I didn't, I didn't put any water back in. I just put the raw chemical in. And of course, it, it needs that water to sort of activate it and dilute it down um, to, to make it really work well. So I put a measure of chemical into there, screw the lid up, fold the emptying uh, spout away, wipe it all down with a cleaner, put it away, put it back in, close it all up, go and wash my hands after I've done all that. Um, I tend not to wear rubber gloves. I know a lot of people do, and it's nice um, if you if you're that way inclined to have a pair of rubber gloves. My feeling about that is that I'd want to use disposable gloves because I wouldn't want to keep a pair of sort of marigold type gloves with all that mess on them uh, and and just leave them in in there. I think that could be a bit mucky, but there you go. Um, anyway, so now onto the chemical that we use. Now I started because you know when we bought the caravan, first of all, we were supplied with uh, a few bits and pieces, and we bought the Thetford um, Aqua Blue 
and uh, we needed back then with the caravan the aqua pink for the rinse and and uh, flush we don't we don't use the pink now we just use the blue chemical that goes into the toilet cassette um, so we use the thetford and we found that okay little bit expensive um, we th we thought so we tried other other things um, you know stuff from Aldi stuff from uh, other caravan accessory shops and no matter what make we used none of it was really that good at a taking away the smell and making it more well less foul um, a toilet smell with raw sewage in it can never smell good um, but it, it, the chemicals that we currently use make it le smell less bad um, a little bit of a floral smell um, so we used all those different chemicals we looked for cheaper ones expensive ones and they didn't really work that well in you know, taking away the smell or breaking down any solids that might have been in there and let, let me just say that we don't do many solids down into the cassette toilet um, we try to use you know pubs and cafes um, when we can if it's necessary then we do it but there you go but then i came i went uh, we were out for a walk we were staying on a little cl site right in the middle of the countryside and we went to a place called the venetian marina um, to have a look around we were looking at narrow boats and they had a, a sort of chandlery sort of accessory shop and we were running out of chemical at that point so popped in there and i bought some el san blue and here's a picture of it now that is a four liter uh, bottle and it cost i think in that little shop out in the middle of nowhere i think it was about 20 pounds just short of 20 pounds um quite you know it's quite a quite a big bottle um and we started to use that and i immediately found that a the smell was much better it was not so bad um you know very bearable uh, more floral and b we noticed that it absolutely breaks down any solids almost immediately so you know within hours the solids are broken down and liquefied um, and i think that also breaks down all of the bacteria as well so i started to think well okay i've tried all these others now i'm going to order another bottle of that when i ran out and i wasn't sure when i bought it or how long it lasted but i bought another bottle on amazon which was delivered to us on the 28th of february this year and i haven't ran out of that yet but i've just ordered another bottle and it was um 16 pound about 16 pound 50 so for a four litre bottle now 28th of february so that's lasted march april may and halfway through june at least um so i'd say it lasts for between well on the safe side it lasts for three months that four litre bottle lasts for three months and bear in mind we're living in the van permanently at the moment so we're using it all the time so you know um, to cover that off we tend to empty the toilet every averagely every three days sometimes it's more often um, it's not usually less often maybe it's four days but the chemicals are recommended to be changed and refreshed every three days or every fourth day so um, that's sort of what we do um, and that normally is um, an almost full cassette so we're we're on that sort of regime but that's how long that chemical lasts and you know when, if you think about that that's about you know well one pound fifty a week um, for toilet chemical which is pretty good i think um, so that's going to be a top recommendation from us uh, if you're looking to to get toilet fluid um, the the blue elson also do an eco green chemical i'm not sure about those i've tried the green chemicals 
They don't smell as nice. The ones I've used don't smell as nice, and they don't. I don't think they work as well as the blue. So I'm sticking with the blue at the moment, but I I do have a plan to try the green because I want to be a bit more eco-friendly if we can. Um, so I'll probably you know maybe next time round I'll order some of the Elsan uh, Eco Green um, toilet fluid. But that's that's sort of that's sort of the way that works. Um, you have to take the cassette out of the van. You have to empty it into uh, a, a sewer drain. Um, all of the you know people might say, well, you're not allowed to empty it in various places, and that and that's very true. Um, you can empty that down toilets, although people don't like you to do that because the blue can be quite splashy and stainy, so it can stain uh, the the bowl. So you know, but the rest of it is just no worse than the effluent that's going down there on a regular basis anyway. So that's you know we're usually using. Um, standard LSAN emptying points. So toilet cassette emptying points on CL sites and on club sites. So that's, you know, that's sort of what we're doing at the moment. Um, when we're on rallies, there's always an LSAN emptying point, which essentially is just, it goes into the sewer drain. That's where it goes on, on those things. So that's what we're doing. Um, and that's how the toilet chemicals work. But I hope that's been a, a sort of education for you. Uh, I, hope it, I hope it's not made you feel too yucky uh, talking about all the toilet things. Um, but that's the reality of caravanning and motorhoming, especially if you're doing longer term um, living or holidaying. If you're, you know, if you're on a big trip, um, you're going to need to use your toilet maybe overnight and you're going to need to find places to empty it. Um, what I did notice across Europe when we travelled up to Sweden is at um, uh, fuel stations, petrol stations, um, certainly on the uh, Circle K, they had, um, occasionally they had toilet emptying points. So that was really, really good. Um, you know, so and I've not seen that anywhere in the UK. But I do know, uh, I think it's the caravan, uh, the Camping and Caravan Club have started to open up their sites to people not staying there. They can pay £7.50 to go in, fill up with water, empty their waste, empty their Elson uh, toilet cassette or the Thetford, Thetford toilet cassette um, for £7.50, which, you know, it, it's a cost, you know, and if you're if you're desperate, that's a great way to do it. And I think if you're a member of the club, probably any any club will allow you to do that. Any site will allow you to do that. Anyway, that's it from me and the story of toilet cassettes and how they all work. Um, but that chemical is a recommendation. So try it out if you've not uh, tried the Elson. Um, toilet blue then do and let us know what you think in the comments below so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do you'll get reminders if you click the bell icon you'll get reminders when we upload a new video and try popping over to our website at essentialcaravanandmotorhome.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We'll be sending you out all the things that we've both written down and, and videoed and, and stuff on a reminder email just once a week. Probably not going to send you anything else, so don't be worried about that. Anyway, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>